morning and welcome to another video. Um, this time I'm on a new gravel pit that I uh, joined this year for the first time. They ran a uh, Tench Social earlier on in the season and uh, that was open to non-members so I went along to that, fished that and liked what I saw basically so I've joined the club. Uh, this is my first two night session uh, after the Tench of course. I've been down here a few times, done one overnighter um, and then a few sessions sort of after work. I've had a few fish. The biggest I had was 7.6. I had a couple of fish on that tench social and uh, yeah that was the best one of, of that session and, and uh, my best so far. So there have been plenty of bigger ones coming out. There's been a few eights come out. Uh, I know of a nine that's come out as well this year. So. Um, yeah, it's a nice place and I'm looking forward to fishing it and uh, I think I'll uh, get on it much earlier next season and um, give it a real go. It's a nice old clear gravel pit, very very weedy, it's got a few islands, it's got a couple of spits, um, it's quite natural, quite wild. Um, it's uh, recently had an otter fence put up as well so that's great safeguarding the future and uh, yeah it seems to be pretty well stocked with tench I say stocked actually I think it's pretty natural stocking actually but um, there seems to be a lot there's one lad had uh, 27 out in a 48 hour session um, the other week so yeah it's um, 5 30 this morning in the morning now I fished through the night I got here about six o'clock time, spent a couple of hours raking and feeding um, a swim that I'm fishing. Um, there wasn't a clear patch there before, I just found a, found a, a spot that I like the look of and I raked it to create a clear spot. I've got um, two rods that I'm fishing, you can have a maximum of two rods on this lake. Um, and through the night I fished PVA bags with, a, with small 12 mil yellow boilies, wafters. Uh, and I also have a third rod set up on a worm heli rig um, just so I can sort of chop and change one of the rods. And must have been about 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30 maybe, I, uh, I had my first fish. That was a 4.5 pound male. And I had to use the carp landing net for that because it came in with such a large ball of uh, Canadian pondweed on it. Um, it wasn't going to get in the uh, regular tench landing net. So that's a bit of a tip actually when you're fishing really weedy water. It sometimes benefits to have a carp net with you. Um, just so you can land big balls of weed that tench might um, bury themselves in. And then uh, about three o'clock in the morning, I had another um, small male, four pound, five ounces, I think it was. Uh, and that was on the worm heli rig that I cast out to a showing fish. So a couple of fish and uh, yeah, looking forward to another, what, 24 hours, maybe, maybe 30 more hours I've got on it. So uh, hopefully we'll get a few more. I'll probably rake the swim again, um, sort of around midday when it's hot and sunny and there's not, you know, going to be a lot of tench action, um, and rebait it. The, this place tends to do pretty well, uh, dawn and dusk, but also through the night as well. And you know, like I say, I started fishing about 9:30 last night and I've had a couple of tench. That was great. So, um, what else is going on? Simon's joining me a little bit later on. Simon, the fishing cowboy, you might have seen in some of my other videos. He's uh, joining me mid-morning and he's fishing for 24 hours with me, so that'll be good. Uh, we're on like a double swim, uh, it's two swims but right next to each other on a, on a point. So we've both got completely different sides of the lake to be fishing, but we're right next to each other, so it's really great. We've got our own water, um, but we can still sort of sit around and chat. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the water. Simon swim. He's going to be joining me a bit later. Nice 
nice margins here. Maybe worth feeding that up, dropping a bait in at night time. We might pick up a, a bonus carp there. Or a tench. Quite a weedy bay. This last peg you can see here on the right, I've uh, had a few tench out there. The biggest I've had uh, seven six on the uh, tench social that the club ran um, a couple of months ago. There's lilies, there's a lovely swim up there. It's got a bit of everything. You've got island, you've got lilies. There's a spot at range, there's uh, margin spots for float fishing. In fact, you can cast to this island here as well if you really want to. So that swim's lovely because it's got loads of options. Lovely lake. Hopefully, so I'll get a few out here. Here we go, start of an overnighter, double overnighter for Paul, he's cheating twice. First of all he's raking his swim and he's going to be here for another night. You would have thought Paul's raking his swim to uh, clear it of weed, get it ready for fishing. No, he's trying to catch his other rake that he lost a minute ago. <laughs> no word of a lie, literally two minutes after wading out and chucking his big rake around, Paul finds his little rake. Jacuzzi time. This is my um, sort of backup spot that I've been feeding since I got here yesterday evening. And boy, is it bubbling. They do this a lot on this lake, and um, they can drive you mad because you can see all this fizzing, but they will not take a hook bait. Nine times out of ten, you get a bite when there's no fizzing at all. Nice to see though, classic tench fishing. Love it. This one's seven pounds on the dock. And that was on the worm. There it is. Stunning fish. Lovely. Let's get it back. So it's now uh, quarter past eleven. Three fish. Uh, lost two in the weed. Uh, and so far I guess it's going according to plan. I'd like to have had a few more, but there's some fish out there. Two off the baited spot and one uh, where I cast to a, a showing fish. And uh, the worm kebab has had two fish, PVA bag with a little boily, so the other. Uh, and then the two lost fish were both on um, PVA bags as well. They just both sort of buried their heads in dense weed and uh, in fact one I, I landed a, a large ball of weed not knowing whether I had a fish or not to be honest. Um, yeah, still plenty of time to go and uh, really enjoying it so far.
Let's hope we get some more. So it's one o'clock and uh, Simon, the fishing cowboy's joined me. He's, uh, I think, getting a, getting a rod out quick sharp and then he's going to do a bit of raking and, and use the deeper a little bit and get a feel for his swim. Generally make a mess. Generally make a mess. It's pretty hot and sticky at the moment. And then this sorry state of affairs is evidence of my uh, third lost fish of the session me in a big ball of weed and actually the fish was still on when I got it to the net and it was whilst I was netting it trying to scoop up all that weed with the fish that it flat one last time hit the rim of the net and, and got, got away so gutted but that was um, me as a result of me casting a PVA bag to showing fish lots of fizzing bubbles on a spot that I've been feeding but not fishing and I think I'm just gonna keep doing that and keep sort of dipping into that that area every time there's signs of fish um, but yeah disappointing so it's uh, still three fish landed three fish lost three fish lost now it's a tongue twister for you so this is my uh, simple PVA bag rig that I'm using I've got a 12 mil wafter I'm using yellow purely because my uh, spod mix has got um, some yellow sweet corn in the mix as well, not a lot at all, but um, it matches the uh, sweet corn. It, this one actually is a essential cell flavour, but um, any yellow wafter will, will do the job if you're using corn, I think. And I've got a, a short, what is it, three inch maybe hook link of uh, strip braid, supple braid, uh, size 10 hook. One and a half ounce inline lead, and then I'm using a leader at the moment, and that's all to do with abrasion resistance. It's just so weedy, and you've seen the big balls of weed that I'm pulling in. Um, a leader, whether it's lead core or if you don't like using lead core, one of the lead free alternatives just helps give you that little bit of extra ab abrasion resistance when you're fishing such weedy water. Um, I've got 10 pound main line as well, that helps a lot. Um, it's 10 pound line is not over gunning it for tench if you're fishing weedy waters you need that and you've also got a chance of catching carp as well so it does help so I then put that in a solid PVA bag with a load of micro pellets and that's the uh, finished article really tightly packed fold the corners at the end in so it's aerodynamic I'm using the Fox Rapid system but you can do it with just cheap PVA bags as well um, but what I like about this and using leaders is you can just make up the bags and then you can just loop to loop onto the main line so it's really quick and easy to change them. So uh, yeah, this is Get Me Bites. So what is it, about 6.30 maybe? Uh, something like that, quarter to seven. First run, first fish. 
Six four. Well done, Si. First fish from the lake. Yeah, it's a lovely fish. It's a beauty one. Beauty one. Sausages. <laughs> lovely fish, buddy. Really nice. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Well, Simon's just nipped out to McDonald's and to the shop to get some more water. And I've gone and uh, net myself a huge ball of weed with a tench in it. No idea how big it is, I'm not sure it's that big actually, but straight into the weed again. This time I was fortunate to be able to get it out. Just have to be a little bit tricksy with them sometimes, and they'll, they'll work the, the, themselves out of the, uh, the weed. But uh, yeah, let's get it out and have a look at it. Well, there you have it. Not surprising, another male. It fought pretty hard. But we got him. It's all a lot of weed, so I'm going to stop filming and just sort this mess out. So that was fish number four, and it was. Uh, 5.15 or thereabouts when I got that one and the bait had been in for well over an hour so I'm not you know rebaiting and uh, recasting that often um, but I had spawned some bait out about sort of I don't know 40 minutes beforehand and uh, that's happened with the previous fish on this session as well sort of 40 minutes or so after spawning out a load of bait Get a bite. So, like I say, it's you know it's uh, five five thirty time now, and uh, put a load of bait out, and I'll probably have one more spobbing session as it's getting dark to set me up for the night, and hopefully we'll get some action through the night again. So fingers crossed. Here we go, out of the blue, off like a rocket. So I found the trick is to get them in as quickly as you possibly can before they know what's hit them. There's so much weed out there. Nice looking fish. There's another little male, by the look of it I think. Give it its scrap. Lighter in colour than the other ones I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty fish though, nice nice male. Probably about four pound. On the worm. On the uh, worm heli rig. So that's three in this session on that. Lovely fish. Nice little male. Mm, three and a half to four pounds, something like that. Excellent.
Well, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning now, and, but here's the first fish of the morning. Just spawned out some bait, and um, with about 20 minutes, got this little bad boy. It's probably, I don't know, a four pounder. Excellent though, lovely looking fish. And I've got another one. Happy start to the uh, the day. Lovely looking fish, aren't they? Lovely dark green tinkers. Awesome. That's on the uh, pelly rig with the worm. Excellent stuff. Let's weigh it. So there we go. Another fish. Uh, second of the morning on the worm. The worm heli rig. A bit of dorsal fin damage, but lovely fish, aren't they? Awesome. Beautiful fish. So it's 10:15 uh, on day two, and the pack up has uh, pretty much got well underway. Looking to leave about 11:30ish, I'd imagine. So just over an hour to go. So hopefully we can nick one more. But uh, it's been a fun social session. Lovely weather and some fish as well. So at the moment, I think it's. Uh, seven tench to seven pounds and uh, Simon had a nice six pounder his first fish from the venue so he's chuffed he actually lost a big carp in the middle of the night as well um, when I got here on uh, Wednesday evening I started to feed the margins in his swim right next to the lily pads and uh, he kept the bait going in just slowly trickling in regularly and then put some corn out on the spot literally under his rod tip next to some lilies and yeah he was uh, woken by a almighty screaming noise of the alarms going off and uh, unfortunately he's lost it but it's, by the sound of it it must have been a carp one of the uh, few carp in here so that's a real shame but we'll be back I think Simon's gonna join which is great news and uh, look forward to uh, coming down here again sometime soon so thanks for watching <laughs>